All right, we are back. This is uh, kind of like for members only because uh, if you're a subscriber, you're a member of my channel. And we're going to show you how to make the bottom to this diamond box today. You can put diamond earrings in it. I think I went over that in the previous video pretty thoroughly. Uh, lots of different things you can do with this. And the other cool thing, the diamond part of the box, is you would have this part sticking out. And after you've moved it a few times and made all the creases like uh, I'm going to demonstrate, then you can just pop it out if you want it this way. And there's your diamond box. Uh, yeah, it's not a perfect diamond, but it's pretty high grade. <laughs> it's a sturdy little compact box the other way. And so I like it like that a lot too. It's really nice. So this video is the bottom. It's a little bit different than the top. It's almost, ex it's actually the exact same after the first fold. Uh, except you make sure that this is the bottom part of the bill. When you do one crease. I'll definitely have to show that. It fits best if you put the seam next to the other seam. Like here's the seam and here's the seam. So if you put it next to it, it fits in perfect. Now you can line up the seams. It still closes. Still pretty nice. All right. So let's get on with the video. And here's the actual one from the previous video right here. And I found out how I can tell. These are old bills. And I washed after I folded this. But before I washed, I couldn't tell which was which because I got them mixed up. But then you can smell the new money. And so here's the stack of new money. And brand new bill for this video. Number 97. All right, so we're making green side out. If you want to make George side out, that's up to you. So you just you start on the back of the bill and make sure your borders are pretty even on both sides. This one might be a little bit wider on that side. So fold down the entire green border. You can leave the little tiny line if you want. But since this side looks a little shorter, let me check. Eh, it's almost the same. So we're just going to fold right at that little line. Perfect little guide. And now you're just going to leave that folded over for the entire project well except darn we got to fold it into thirds first so it's all really in the previous video i don't know if i should really show everything each time in each video because uh yeah it makes them longer and it's harder to do on the camera actually <laughs> but fold it underneath the serial number so I'll think about that, and we'll make this tutorial. In case you're just joining the channel, then uh, it got released. But right now, this is a private subscriber-only video. We'll see what happens. So just loosely fold it, and then fold this one over. Don't get any curling up inside there. I gotta adjust the cam. Because I walked off the view last time a little bit, it went like that. <laughs> so you just wanna line them up where that edge. I mean, I, I'm i gonna have to start assuming that people know this is not their first origami and they know a little bit. So I'll just try and share the important, most important tips. Then uh, what I like to do is flip this one under. And now I'm doing it the exact same way 
on the other end of the bill. And both creases go toward the center. So now when you're going to see how it's not touching in the middle really. So you just you sh might get the top finger a little wet. So you can roll it in a little bit. So get this as straight as you can. Two equal one thirds. I mean uh, three equal third parts. Switch them around. This one just needs a little bit. Do it a little bit more. And you just you take your time and you slowly crease each side. And that's why these videos are so long. It's it's quite a bit different than folding with paper. I like to say the same things over and over again. That's my problem with uh, how much to share while I'm folding these. So, all right. So that is pretty darn good, I'd say. And now I'm going to crease them up a little bit more. Just carefully so that you don't distort. Straightness of your crease. If you do it too much, it'll go. Whoosh. So now open it back up. Fold that little border piece back in that we started with. I was on this side. And, uh, well, I think that's the other side from the one I did before. Um, yeah, that's the correct side. No, that's the correct side. <laughs> scared you there, huh? <laughs> yeah, me too. All right, so now uh, on the side where you creased that, fold this edge up to here get a nice sharp point and what we did is that's the measurement for folding this into sevenths but it's a little bit shorter than the previous video sevenths now open this up, fold it in along those, and just press a little bit. But make sure it's all the way that way so you got your points right here. But most importantly, make sure that's straight. This line will line up with that one, that one will line up with this one. And you can open this up, undo these. Fold it back. Make sure the edges are lined up. You know, if I'm going to spend the time folding the dollar, I want it to be nice. And I want yours to come out better than mine. So, these corner creases now, just reverse on those a little bit to get rid of them. You really need both to do it, I would say. All right. So there we go. Now leave that folded and fold in half. Line it up really well. Pulling this way, but keeping that lined up. Or you can turn over. And you can do the same moves. So that gets it nice and square. 
Okay, I wonder if that is a square. I think it might be. Yeah, that is a square. So, I might have to use that technique in a later video for something. Alright, so now you just... Hang on one second, I gotta drink something. Alright, yeah, I'm talking a bunch makes my throat dry, but oh well, whatever. So you open it up, and now, very tightly against this crease, fold the bill in. So, just make sure it's all lined up good. Pinching that side, tucking this one in, lining it up, pinching that side. Now open it up and make that crease. So line up everything. Right where you had it. That way, now you can make that solid. Now, this new crease and the other one, you line up these points. See right there? Make sure your edges are even. Give it a little pinch over there. Turn over. Make sure they're lined up. Makes a little diamond, see? Just line that up. And now we've got that crease. Now that latest crease we just made. Take this raw edge and tuck it into there. Pretty precision. Just make sure your edges are lined up. Just take your time and make a super cool, nice looking, well built, awesome diamond box. Alright, and then one more. This raw edge goes into that crease. It always looks smaller, but it ain't really. Once you get it creased, you see it lines up with that one. All right, so there's sevenths with a little bit of burned part. Now we've got to make fourteenths. Um, so now you just bring this ridge over to that raw edge. I like to start at this end, actually. I found out from making several of them now. So you bring this creased edge up to that first crease. And just line them up however you want to do it, of course. But I like doing it like this. So that I can keep it nice and straight as I go. So, yeah, I am definitely not a fast origami folder. <laughs> and see, now I can crease that one too. And then bring the next one up there. All right, so cool comments would be, you know, what do you do? 
with your origami after you fold it. Some of the things. Now I give some of mine away for sure. And uh, oh yeah. Well, I'll do another video on a cool way I have to take my origami on the go. Because sometimes you can pick one out for somebody. But. Sometimes it's really fun to let them pick it out. And I have a really cool way to take it with you. It's real simple. And it only costs like a couple of bucks. Or maybe an origami, huh? <laughs> So we've got almost all of them now. So it's a zigzag fold with 14 sections. And this is... See, that's why you want to follow the channel, because... Uh, and now you're in the free member area. <laughs> but see then, you already know how to do this pretty good. From the previous videos. And if you did make the box top. Already and the ball before that. I mean, you're, you're a whiz now at this technique for this model or or you should be getting pretty good at it by now and that's why I wanted to do it with stages so now I've got the zigzag fold you can go ahead and line them all up and now you can tamper with it a little bit line them up and pinch it this helps some. If you're really good, I guess you don't have to do it or something, but I do. And then what I do is I, I twist on it and wiggle it. That gets all the creases settled in because it doesn't really, you know, slide like paper with this dollar uh, fabric infested paper infused. All right, so now. You've got this beautiful zigzag fold. So now you uh, all right. Hang on one sec. Well, I kind of left these out of the other videos, and uh, it was really by accident. I'm just, you know, I change these while I'm making them, even on the videos sometimes. But go ahead and fold the bill. This is the inside. Fold it in half. Leave that in. And just line it up. You can do it later, but I think it's better if you just do it now. So just go along each segment. And make sure it's lined up. Pinch it down here. Line it up, pinch it down here. Line it up, pinch it down here. Because you see how it's kind of curved a little bit. So, should have done that at the beginning. I apologize for that. I'm not going to crease it super hard, just medium enough to make sure it sticks. All right, so this is looking great. Now open that one back up. Because it's harder to make it later, really. Even though I did show a good way. I believe. Anyway. So now. You've got the. Edge. Border folded under. And then. Well, Refind your. One third lines. So redo those a little bit. 
because it's it's pretty hard to see them. Not everyone all the time, but we have to make a lot of. Uh, Got to make nine nice little folds here. All right, I've got the part folded under. I remade my side ones. Now you just fold from this corner. You guys know, right? I mean, everyone. I don't like using guys for mixed audiences. From that point to that point. So this is a mountain fold right here. And there it is. Now that one, you probably want to crease it up because it's got that extra little piece. And do this other one. Really, all the creases on this one you want to sip those little corner folds for the measurement. All the creases you want them pretty good. Okay. So I just open that up and we're going to do the same thing. I just don't get your bill flipped over out of whack. So now you open those up and you go to the next valley fold. So it's one section here that you just. And then we're skipping that section. And there's a valley fold right there. So fold that up. And now you do the same. Crease from that point over to this point. And you hold them here so the paper doesn't slip like that. You can even hold right here. Is even better, actually. So we're just doing the exact same thing. Opening them up. Go to the next valley fall. And now it gets harder and harder to use this crease as you go, because that's reversed. So, that's why I had all that concern about me flipping it over backwards by accident. See, because I'm turning it around a bunch. But I'm one of them, I went past these creases a little bit, and then you know, I had to fix it a little bit later on the fly. We don't want to have to do that. All right. Open those up and go to the next valley. Yeah, I really like holding that up here better. You can get that lined up. Because the better the points, line up and mark the line up with the marker points. The better it's gonna look when it's done. See that may be that slightly past it, see? So watch out for that. All right. Uh... Unfold, go to the next valley fold, 
I mean, I can see it right there really good. And you might be able to see yours. I can see okay, but I used to see really, really well. So eventually the whole inside is facing up. <clears throat> That's good. unfold and see what we're really doing is we're going to the next valley fold on the back which is right there see that's why it just kind of looks weird when you get down toward this end but here's the last valley fold and I can't really see the third line so good So I just bent it a little bit on it. See? Beautiful. And we're almost done. With the main part. And now on the last one, you just fold the corners over, just like we started over here. But yeah, so, I mean, this, I think sweet paper came up a bit. And they asked me to let them know what I did with it. And so I'm going to let them know. Really, I'm, I'm not 100% sure whether it's a guy or a girl on that channel. So that's why I keep saying they. All right, so now you've got all the uh, pre-folds except for... Uh, we're just going to reverse one of these one-third folds because, uh, well, one of the other models I was experimenting on, you didn't have to. Oh, yeah, it was the first one, so it was a, it was kind of like this in the ball. And that's why both of the thirds are folded in instead of one out to begin with, which we really should have had it that way, I suppose. But nevertheless. Okay. Um, so now we're making the bottom. So temporarily we're going to call this the top of the model. So fold back in half on your half line. And if you, see, if you wanted to make this the top, then you would fold this part this way. But this is too small to be the top, unless you want the box to fit with the top on the inside. So now we turn over. And so right now the bottom of the bill is the top. And so you fold a mountain fold right here. Fold this away. Line these up one segment at a time of the wide segment. So you line these up 
and fold this over. That way you keep these from slipping. The layers from slipping. And you give it a little pinch. Uh, yeah, so did you watch uh, Jeremy's <laughs> live? I didn't watch it live, but I, I caught it right after he was done. I was recording the video. But uh, he stayed up all night making that camera and uh, telescopic uh, telescope. So I'm just lining these up, pinching it over. Line them up, pinch it over. He's a great guy. And I've definitely learned a lot from watching his origami. He really comes up with some amazing models. All right, so now once you've got it all in there, see how their edges are nice and even? That's good. So now, since those are good, but if they're not, that's the time to adjust it a little bit right now. I wouldn't worry about doing this one so hard because you already had those third folds. All right, so there you go. And then, uh, yeah, it goes with the uh, ridge facing you. I don't know exactly how it's going to turn out. I meant for this to be on the other side. So I guess I was right in saying that was on the wrong side. Let's see. If you turn this around, it really doesn't matter. So, well, the reason was I thought it might tuck in better. Let's see if you got it. So, have the ridge forward you, for, toward you. So it's like this in your hand. And that's going to be the outside of the box. See? So you just fold those in. Now the points that go close together go on the inside, and the ones that stick out go on the outside of this little move we're doing. So you. You push up right at the inward points. You bend it up right here, see? And then it goes in. And then you can pinch it. But if your folds are good, you don't really have to pinch it every one. But yeah, it's good to do it anyway. And you just do a few from the left side. And then just kind of leave it and go over this side. Now these are going to have to come out. And then just gently fold these over. Uh, one toward and one away. Not even on their crease because we don't want to tamper with that. Just sloppily lay it like that. Kind of like the start fold. That's another reason. It should have been on the other end. Oh, well. It's pretty hard to do to manipulate tops and bottoms and inside and out all the time. Ah, when you've only made a couple, you know. So right there at that first real crease segment, that's going in. See, in these points going in, I bend it there. See, right there, and it goes in. And see how it's starting to shape. Now just make sure these work. So you can pinch it. Undo it. And that was it. Yeah, you can, you can actually put it together and pinch them all down while it's flat. See how it's flat? It's not going to remain flat. That would be a seven-sided. And that would be sweet. I know how to make these now. Really good. 
And what you do is open up one of them bottom ones. Now this one that looks like is, this is going to go on the inside of these two. You just get in here and open this up. And it's not that hard to get it in there, really. You just got to hold it open a little bit. And then you pinch these. And then you bring that fold back around. And you put this in, in between those two. As soon as I say something like, not that hard, then you know you have a little bit of trouble. That's how the Murphy Law works. It's not that hard, but you have to let this inside either go that way or this way. So if you let it go towards you, it gives you a little bit more manipulating room to put the last step in. So this goes on the uh, this one goes on the inside. Sorry. And there we go. And now I'm going to let this come toward me. And it allows you to push that in. And once you get it started, see, just, just push it toward you a little bit more. Not too much. And then it slides right in. Now, it's getting a little bit stuck. That's, that's the first time, actually. And it would probably work better on this one if I let it go that way. So if you run into that trouble, just do that. And then you can push up right here and get it to come around. I mean, that's why that little edge is supposed to be on the other side. Darn. So, sometimes I have scrapped a whole video because of stuff like that. Yeah, it should fit in there. Give it a little bit more try. And push it up just a little bit more. Hopefully yours went right in. And if you haven't bolted it yet and you're watching it, then just make that little border fold, the very first fold, on the other side. Let's see if this fits. It does. Maybe I got one of my folds a little bit off. Anyway, get that. It should line up all the way. It did on... It's just really tight right here. And it's not letting it slide is all. There, I opened it up just a little bit more, but not too much or it'll just... Then you'll have to redo... Wow, that's as far as I can get that in there. Oh, well. If you watch the channel, you'll see it. It really didn't happen before this time. So then you just put a binder clip on there. And... This is going to be a tight one. Then this this little flap where you already have the crease tucks underneath this one right here. Well. 
back to back videos, I guess. <laughs> this is a lot of work. And just ask Jeremy because he did it. I'm not Jeremy. <laughs> I can do it. And that's why you want this all the way up tucked in. I accidentally creased it a little. And you can just use something to uh, push this back in a little. Maybe it just got stuck on something on the inside. Anyway, it, it, it's going to come together in just a little bit. Let's get this other one tucked in. And we really wanted it sticking up this way. So if you have to do that, push toward the edges to get it to start to pop this way. Otherwise, it'll pull this apart even further. So this one goes underneath that creased edge right there. Just get it all the way in there. Just a little bit more to go. So, see, this would be that double creased edge. And that's how the other one is. Right here. And it does work better. Just make the very first crease on the other end of the green back. All right, so now you can just go around, straighten up stuff, and this is on the inside, we want on the outside. Hold at the seam and push at this thick part of the triangle toward the edge. See, you can just go around like that. And now you can manipulate it to look like the top with it buffing out and then back in. And you just make these. You just pinch right in here. You get your fingernail, the end of your finger, right there. And if you're worried about this happening, which is the first time, it's in there. And then you can just fold over a little bit more to begin with, too. And it'll help make sure it fits. But it does fit. And there it is. And then you can keep tweaking it a little bit. So that is a super nice compact gift box. And then you can. Push this out if you want to make it the diamond box. And so just, just work your folds. That one needs tucking in a little bit. So just reach under there with not too sharp of a tool. 
and tuck some of those back in. And now that you know how to make it, you can make some of those, uh, you can make the center fold and side wall fold first if you want. And make an even better one than me. So, the seam is there and the seam is here. So I just line them up like that, see? It'll still fit if you don't. You, know, you don't want the box top to be too loose. All right. Thanks for watching. Members. Temporary free members. <laughs> That's what you are if you saw this uh, anytime near the creation date. All right. So we got the uh, time box. That's the end of the video. And I'm going to go set up all this stuff and see what happens. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.